so um, my name is Sherry Ramirez. Um, welcome to my channel. I have a short little demo, hopefully short, but either way, um, that I want to show you. Uh, I was talking about this with some of my fellow colorists earlier today, and they seemed quite... Uh, amazed by the this little gadget that I'm about to demonstrate and so I took a picture of I brought it up on on my Amazon and I took a picture of it and I will include that in the video either at the end or the beginning I'm not sure I will make sure that's included I don't really have the ability to put in links like that yet I'm um, not a, uh, I forget what you call it, um, I don't know, I don't remember the word for it, but I don't have that ability. So, sometimes it's easier just to, you know, take, bring it up and take a picture of it, so you guys can see. The thing is with this, um, hold on, I gotta empty this out. Uh, there we go. I, I've had this for so long. I bought it back last February. I've had it for a year. Seems longer. And I've worn off the the labeling on it. Yeah, so it's been well used. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to include uh, sharpening other things like the pastel pencils. And I have a few assorted a couple of different types of pastel pencils and a couple of different types about three different types of sharpeners so you can kind of you know maybe get an idea of how that goes too if you're just in case you're wondering so what I'm going to start with is the containers first of all I'm gonna these as you can see, I have used these, um, you can, and they stack together really nicely. You can get these at the dollar store. Uh, now, I don't know if, I'm assuming the UK has their version of a dollar store. I got a four pack of these, or maybe larger, at, at my dollar general or something else like or Dollar Tree. Either way, incredibly cheap. And so that's what I I use for the contain the to store the excess uh, shavings. So back to this. This is how, how it comes like this, first of all. Uh, crap, where's the lid? <gasps> Hold up. Time out. <sighs> there it is. <Ooh. laughs> it was in the trash. That's not okay. <laughs> so anyway, it comes basically like this. Oops, make sure I'm in frame here. Sorry. It comes like this and you just unscrew it and try not to lose this because you know then you're left with this you know so yeah that that would be a problem and let's see I'm going to oh by the way the, the pastel sticks that I'm going to be using are these lovely beautiful uh, soft pastels. I used to think of these ones as being uh, hard, but no, it's the reverse. I believe these are called the hard pastels. Anyway, these are, I'm trying to take this out to show you. <laughs> okay. Oh, these are soft pastels. I had it back. You know what? It's been a long day. These are the soft pastels. I had it right to begin with. So, they're there. 
Yes, these are the hard pestles. I, I was right. <sighs> I get them mixed up sometimes. Anywho, um, that's what I'm going to be using. And these can be very messy. I'm just, but aren't they beautiful? Like, there's even like neon colors. Ugh, it's gorgeous. So, I have not used. I have not used a red at all. Ooh. So I'm gonna use this beautiful color. I just know it's a gorgeous shade of red. It kind of reminds me of a scarlet red, which is like an orangey kind of red. So, anywho, you stick the, this is the part that does the sharpening. It, like I was telling my friends because you guys are my friends it looks like a dish strainer sh strainer or whatever it, it, that's kind of what it looks like could be you know a little hat I don't know but either way that's what it looks like and you stick it on this Ta -da. And, um, oh, one other thing you can do, um, if you have issues, sometimes I have issues with the binding agents in these kind of pastels. Um, I, I don't know if it's like mineral spirits, which is odd because the gamsel doesn't bother me. But either way, uh, for whatever reason, the uh, there's something in the binding agent and it kind of causes me issues so don't you love my little uh, pink in honor of uh, cancer awareness I fudged a few of these from my uh, pain specialist office I, I don't worry I did steal them I promise anyway um, so you basically I'm gonna make sure you guys can see here Hold on, I'm sorry. I just want to make sure you guys can see. Yeah. Okay, where is it? All right, I'm just making sure you can see. I want to scooch in just a little more. There we go. All right. Make sure I'm in frame. Da da. Okay. All right. So basically, you take your little stick. Make sure you guys can see. Here, you know what? It might be better for me to do it with the other hand. But all right. Anywho, hopefully you can still see. I'll do it this way. That'll work. All right, we got it situated. Now the thing is, this thing does have corners. I, I let me shake this off. If you can tell, it does have. It is slightly flattened. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but it, it there there are like corner like ridges right here and here. There's like four of them. So it's each it, it, even though it's a circle, each there's like four sides slightly, and you can either stick your st stick, <laughs> stick to stick in the corner in the in these these ridges which will sharpen it a, a little bit more sharply <laughs> i'm having such a hard time with words today or you can for a softer effect you can use the flatter part now your best bet when you're using this is to rotate your stick if you, unless you want one side to be particularly pointed and flat if you want a you know an even point your best bet is to use the corner and to rotate it often and it it just uh it does take a minute. There's a little elbow grease involved. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. 
or you can use this part it, it really doesn't matter i guess but i found that the corner i wasn't paying attention but the corner does sharpen it a little more quickly Now I could be at this for a while. It does it does take a minute, especially when it's a completely unused stick like this one. It's going to take a minute. So that's kind of what it looks like. Ta -da. It's not entirely sharpened because I was going evenly around, um, but I'm going to put it down so I can apply a little more elbow grease. That's the thing when you're doing it it really you really can uh get a little more elbow pressure if you just set it down i was trying to make sure you guys could you know see it better but it's really hard to get the adequate number of now the other thing too before i forget is just kind of shake it periodically like this tap it and then you can also push take your finger and kind of push the chalk through um you can do it another way and i'll have to show you do it in a way that i normally wouldn't so you can see but you take it and put it into the very center of it and yeah and just do this and you see what a beautiful rounded but slightly pointed shape that gives it isn't that great so i mean there's multiple ways to do it so you can do it this way you can do it in the uh the the ridge part where the the sides meet or you can do it um in the flat part if you want a more one-sided shape so it's all up to you and what you, you know, what you want. And so that's kind of how that works. Wow. See, and this is why I, could, I use these. I just, I don't know. For whatever reason, that dust just bothers me. Um, I don't know. I have so many allergies, I can't even. It's not funny. <laughs> So I'm going to push this uh, dust through. And that's the one thing you want to make sure that if you're doing radically different colors, that you get a paper towel or a tissue or something of that sort and, you know, make sure it's nice and clean. There. Because you don't, you know, especially if the colors are really different, you don't want a red with a, you know, say a bright blue. I mean, unless you want green, uh, you know, I don't know. So, I think I can take that off for now. And the hard, pa the uh, soft pastels don't bother me. I have no issues with them. It's just whatever they use to bind these with. I, I looked it up once and it's like, sort of like baby baby oil almost it's just very odd I don't know so anywho this is what you're left with now you can either leave it in here like I had that gray that I had to empty out in the trash can like this and it's perfectly ta-da or you can do what I do. Now, since I don't have a lot of this, I could use this. But I also got these from either Michaels. They're paint, they're for paint, basically. Oops. 
So you can either, if you don't have a lot, you can either use one of these or one of these. Either way, both are tremendously inexpensive. So since I don't have a lot of this, I'm just going to put it into this little, little one. And that's another thing too. Make sure you clean this part off. Now, to make sure that I get everything, I get a either something like this, which I got off of Amazon. I think it's like a makeup brush or something. Um, or a Q-tip. And I think I'm going to use this. And I just kind of, I mean, I'm going to lose some of it, obviously, but, uh, you know, I'm going to save some of it too. And I just kind of, and you try not to knock it over. <laughs> And I just put that aside and look, for future reference, say if you're coloring something, you know, um, I don't have anything at the moment I could show you, but I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap paper here and you take your utensil, you just dip it, make sure I'm free. It's a problem. <laughs> and tap, make sure you tap it a little bit because you don't want, unless you want a lot of excess, I mean, you may, but if you don't, you know, I always suggest, you see how much is coming off of it? I'll show you. So, and you just take it onto here and Look at that nice soft look that it gives you. And I think it's like a makeup brush. Very inexpensive off of Amazon. Uh, you know what? I'm curious about something. I'm going to see how this does. Hmm. And that's interesting. This versus this. I would say this is a softer look than this. This is a little, this lays it down a little more quickly and a little more, so if you're doing a tight area, this might actually be really good. And you see, cause it's also pointed. However, if you're doing a wider area and you want it to kind of spread out. See, interesting, huh? Hmm. Anyhow, that was intriguing to me. Hey, see, I learned something about that. Look. Just take it. Ta-da. And I'll show you. Look, I have a bunch of these. So that if ever I'm working on a project and I don't have the time, energy, or wherewithal to shave some, some you know, dust off, and I don't want to use the stick, look at that. And they stack, I mean, you know. So, yeah, there's that. I mean, you can do it. Oh, take my glove off. Oops, sorry about that. I mean, like, uh, I saw Belinda doing earlier. I mean, you can use an X Acto knife. Like this little bad boy that I got from uh, wherever. <laughs> And you can do it that way. And it, it works, it does work. I mean, you can see, it does work. So I'm not saying don't, however, I think this is much more efficient.
it requires less energy and it's safer because let's face it folks some of us are klutzes myself chief among them and look at that that is a dangerous weapon like you could kill somebody with this you know what i mean it, and i'm i'm a huge klutz so i use those things uh, carefully and i would rather use this than this because I'm not going to cut myself on this. Just saying. So, there's that. Now, the other thing that I wanted to throw in, and I'm going to put this aside for a minute, is 